and welcome to TV Coast to Coast, our two-part weekly video chat about notable shows and highlights of the TV week ahead. I'm Mark Dewitziak, the TV critic at the Cleveland Plain Dealer and Cleveland.com. And with me this week is TV Coast to Coast regular Dave Walker of the New Orleans Time Picayune and NOLA.com. But we're doing something a little different this week. We've invited a guest contributor to the online table because the first topic of conversation is Boardwalk Empire, the HBO drama that ended its five-season run Sunday night. Going out with a bang. Several, in fact. And our guest is one of the leading Boardwalk experts, uh, Boardwalk Empire experts on uh, the planet, Anthony Venutolo of NJ.com. Welcome, Anthony. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, unlike well, the you know, Sopranos, I watched last night. Uh, as you guys probably know, we didn't get any screeners, so this was all going to be done live. Uh, there were a lot of theories going into the episode, uh, and let me just say, you know, I have a really active forum uh, online uh, underneath my, recap, or my, my recaps every week, and I have to say, um, uh, the word is not good. A lot of people are disappointed. Um, the, 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 the prediction that we all kind of suspected the first week, the first episode of this season, came true. Uh, now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it, it, it felt a little forced. Uh, personally, I believe Nucky, Nucky Thompson deserved a little bit better. Uh, he was a lot smarter throughout the entire run of the series uh, than to be shot by some teenager on the boardwalk. I think, I think Terrence Winter uh, and the, 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 the rest of the, the crew probably should have gone back to the drawing board. I would have liked to see Nucky ride off into the sunset um, to me, this was just, it was undeserving of a great character, still a great show, still one of the best series I've ever watched, uh, really high artistic value. Um, I just really almost screamed no as soon as I heard uh, Tommy Darmany say Mima, and I, I really, extremely disappointed. Uh, the last six, seven episodes have been wonderful to watch, uh, seeing uh, those great flashbacks and uh, the fate of all of our favorite characters. I just wish they did something different with Nucky Thompson. Uh, and I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. Dave, what did you think? Um, well, it's interesting that you, you raise him surviving into a full life because the, the guy that the character is sort of based on did so. Um, Enoch Johnson was his name. Right. And he, he was an, a political boss in Atlantic City and he lived into the 1960s. Um, he, uh, all of the story uh, that m sort of melded the reality of his story and the mobsters was all pretty plausible um, based on the history that I, I know. Um, uh, I think I, I understand where people are coming from there, but at the same time, I think uh, overall the episode and this whole last season um, paid off a lot of the things that they were setting up all along the way. I was fascinated by this show from the very beginning. I read the book it was based on. Um, uh, I love the setting and I love the way that they did uh, mix real historical characters with a bunch of their fictional characters. Uh, when it first came on, I sort of thought, well, maybe this is going to be a Jersey Shore kind of Jersey Shore prequel, uh, and it became, to, to me, so much more. Um, and uh, for that reason, I thought that the finale and the final season sort of paid off um, uh, for the longtime lovers of this show, and I was from the beginning. Uh, and it also gave some great moments to some of the recurring characters and lesser characters uh, below the, the lead level that Steve Buscemi was, um, especially Stephen Graham as little Al Capone. I just think that's one of the most amazing performances on all of television. It has been from the beginning. I could name some of these characters these, and some of the actors, but it, we would just go on and on and on. Right. Uh, uh, and I thought in this final season where they did younger versions of the Commodore and Nucky, I thought that was really well done and really plausible. Um, and the flashing back and forth, I thought was really cool. And then even forward from the final time piece where they, I thought it was really sweet they had Nucky got that little look at television and on the boardwalk there in the future. Um, there were little touches like that, as well as the period music. I thought it was like one of the bravest shows ever on television to have that weird kind of honky pre 
pre-jazz stuff playing in the next room all the time and or in the calliope or whatever on the boardwalk playing in the background I, the atmospherics of the show were as important as the story to me and i think it paid off to the very end mark what did you think well i, I first off i should have said at the top of this conversation spoiler alert for those who too late now, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess that's uh, that, that that trolley left the station a while ago. The cat um, is out of the bag. So yes, we now have told everybody how this ends. And to me, this was sort of the anti-Sopranos ending. Um, clearly, Terrence Winter went into this going, no, 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 no. We're not going to have any ambivalence about this. We're going to have a definitive ending on this. And I give him points for that. But and you knew the but was coming. Uh, I've always had ambivalent feelings about this series, uh, deeply ambivalent feelings. Uh, I'm fascinated by it, utterly fascinated by the world they have created, and I love the performances. But I have always thought that the storytelling was somewhat suspect. And I think the ending is indicative of that. It was a heavy-handed ending. I think for everybody, the moment that Jimmy Darmody's son showed up as an infant, and his mother says, you're going to grow up to do big things, be a big man in this town. We're, uh, part of us all yelled, no, 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 no. That cannot be the ending. That, that, that he cannot grow up to be the Shakespearean Avenger. That, to me, seemed extraordinarily heavy-handed. So if, Anthony, if the fans are somewhat uh, up in arms about that ending, I am with them. Because I did not think it was an ending which fit the series. Now, all that being said... I hate it when people come down to, say, how a show ended to the last few seconds. Because that's not how a show ends. It's judged by the last episodes, the last season. And this has been a pretty good last season. They only had eight episodes. They used every second very efficiently. Um, I like the way this show ended overall this last season. But here come those ambivalent feelings again. I was not crazy about the ending ending and it did leave me somewhat cold so i i think i'm probably with the fans on that one if that seemed to be the response and that's saying that there was tremendous things in that so gents thanks uh that was a terrific wrap up on on a show which is going to have a lot of conversation anybody want a, a final word on that no i want to just thank anthony for uh, playing along really great perspective yeah, thanks for having me, and uh, this was fun. Hopefully we can do it again. All right. Uh, come back and join us for the second conversation of the week when uh, Vicki Hyman of New Jersey Star Ledger and NJCom will be back on the panel, and we'll see you then. Oh.